Hey, boys and girls, it's Miss Freitas time. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming to see me. I have a sweet little book here called Bunny Cakes. It's written by Rosemary Wells. Have you ever seen this little bunny before? Maybe so. I think I've seen this bunny in a show on TV, too. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Front of the book, back of the book, spine, it holds the book together. And this book is testable, by the way. It was Grandma's birthday. Max made her an earthworm birthday cake. No, Max, said Max's sister Ruby. We are going to make Grandma an angel surprise cake with raspberry fluff icing. Max wanted to help. Don't touch anything, Max, said Ruby. But it was too late. Ruby sent Max to the store with a list that said eggs. What do you think Max did? Probably knocked over some eggs. <laughs> Sometimes that just happens. Messes happen. Max wanted red hot marshmallow squirters for his earthworm cake, so he wrote red hot marshmallow squirters on the list. Here's the list. Doesn't that look like <laughs> hot red marshmallow squirters? His very own little guy writing. The grocer could not read Max's writing. Eggs, said the grocer, and he gave Max eggs. But he didn't get his squirters, I don't think. Max brought the eggs home to Ruby. Don't bump the table, Max, said Ruby. But it was too late. Ruby sent Max back to the store with a list that said milk. Dun, dun, dun. That's what I like to do when there's problems in a story. This time, Max wrote red hot marshmallow squirters in a different way. <sighs> Max hoped and hoped for his squirters, but the grocer still couldn't read Max's writing. Milk, said the grocer, and he gave Max milk. Still no squirters. Max brought the milk home to Ruby. There's a yellow line on the floor, Max, said Ruby. You can't step over that line. Why do you think she put that line on the floor? What's Ruby's idea? You think so? You think that line is there to keep Max out of the kitchen? <laughs> Let's find out. That means you are guessing what comes next, inferring about what comes next. Very cool. But Max crossed the line anyway. Over went the flower. Ruby got out her pencil. And guess what she had to write? Flower. What does that mean Max has to do? This time, Max wrote red hot marshmallow squirters in the most beautiful writing he knew. Max could almost taste the marshmallow squirters. Flour, said the grocer, and he gave Max flour. He's just not having any luck with his nicest writing either. And he's still making messes in the kitchen. When Max got home, there was a sign on the kitchen door. Max. The kitchen is no place for you, said Ruby. Ruby finished up her cake. So she put a X over Max's picture that she made. And she's in here getting busy. Look, his ears are out the window. She baked it and colored it and iced it with raspberry fluff frosting. 
It needs something else, Max, said Ruby. Birthday candles, silver stars, sugar hearts, buttercream roses, wrote Ruby. Meanwhile, Max had a brand new idea. Look at that very curious little face of his. Hmm. <laughs> He drew a picture of red heart marshmallow squirters on Ruby's list and ran to the grocer. He could not wait. Birthday candles, silver stars, sugar hearts, buttercream roses. Birthday candles, silver stars, sugar hearts, buttercream roses, said the grocer. What's this? Why, it must be red hot marshmallow squirters. Also, he drew a picture this time. That's great. I guess the uh, the grocer knew about that picture because I sure don't. And look at this neat little little picture here on the cover of the squirters. Ruby's cake looked just beautiful. Max went out and put caterpillar icing on his earthworm cake. Man, that looks good. <laughs> Grandma was so thrilled she didn't know which cake to eat first. I'm thinking the pink one. <laughs> well, that's nice that they were both thinking of Grandma, huh? And here's all the things she needed to make a cake. The end. A Max and Ruby picture book. Super cute. Well now, I know Ruby had to be patient with her little brother and after a while she just said, sorry buddy, you can't come in the kitchen. Do you guys know what it's like to be an older brother or sister? Or maybe you've even had a cousin that has came into your room and changed up the way things go. Do you feel like you have to be patient with siblings sometimes? Even older siblings can get on your nerves because they want to come help you all the time, but sometimes you don't need help. So the great thing about siblings is they are your family and they love you very much. Sometimes you can't tell because they're a little grouchy or they're having a bad day. But you can always just be helpful to your brother or sister, and it will go. It will really uh, help them a lot. Mm. Remember, it's important to be the kind of brother or sister that uh, is helpful, cleans up messes. Maybe you guys share cleaning up messes. Uh, maybe you, uh, if you make a mess together, you clean it up together. Because teamwork is really important with brothers and sisters. You know what else is important with brothers and sisters and cousins or any family member that's your age? Is really communicating well with them, talking to them, sharing ideas with them, learning more about them. Because the more you know about your family, the more you'll feel real connected and you'll feel special. What I like at the end is neither of them were mad at each other. They were just both happy they made a cake. And they were both thinking of their grandma. Remember how I feel about grandparents and respecting your elders. Boy, that's so nice. And oh my goodness, they did something special like make a cake for someone they love, which is so wonderful. I hope the next time it's your grandma's birthday or your grandpa's birthday, you'll make a cake. Or draw a card, a real special one. Send it to them in the snail mail. <laughs> okay? All right, I hope you like the book. Keep doing great things. I'm really, really proud of you. Wash your hands a lot. Keep taking this coronavirus seriously, and one day it'll be over. And we'll just get to keep reading because we want to, not because we have to and we're stuck in a house. <laughs> All right, have a great day, boys and girls. Keep learning, okay? <laughs>